Not so long ago, Vibeka Morrissey and Ken Olsen thought that one day they would go for walks here with their child. But almost since birth, their daughter has been a ward of the Norwegian Child Welfare Agency. I feel they take all that I have been created for away from me. I was created to be a father, a protector of my family, and they take the possibility away. And we got some things here. This is Arya's bed. And this is all her things. This is her bathtub. And this is all her playing th things and baby gym. But we have never used it before because she, she has never been, uh, been home. Ken Olsen makes no secret of his past involving drugs, violence and prison terms. He himself grew up in state homes. Their daughter was to be a living symbol of the parents' new beginning. But she's a beautiful girl. They said so, well, that Ken was the, too dangerous for me and Arya. So they took me and Arya from the hospital. But after one week, they decided that, no, I'm not a good enough mother either. So. They took Arya. Now the baby lives with her foster family. Her parents are allowed only occasional visits. But why? Before Arya was born, neighbours had called the police on the parents because of a domestic disturbance. And Ken had a record. In Norway, that's grounds enough to call in the youth welfare office. In cases where the youth welfare office has intervened, it's been because of a report and information from doctors or other authorities. And then we intervene only to prevent the child's health or welfare from being harmed. The office's hardline methods have made headlines. Dozens of cases have been denounced in internet forums. Many of the parents who go public with their experiences are foreigners whose children have been taken away by the authorities. There have been demonstrations around the world against Norway's rigid child welfare policies. Anna Katrina Ekbo Fungan says the Youth Welfare Office removes children from the home as a first resort, not as the last. She used to work for the office but quit because she could no longer condone its practices. The child welfare office is only concerned with removing the children from the families as quickly as possible and not helping to bring them back again quickly. They stay with foster families until they're 18. No discussion. As a social worker for the child welfare office, she was under constant pressure. Rather than support the parents long term, she had to wrap up one case and move on to the next. We had lists of mothers we specifically targeted, single mothers or ones with kids from several fathers, poor, sick, unemployed parents, or families without relatives, that is, uncles, aunts or grandparents. In Norway, twice as many children are placed in homes and foster families per capita as in Germany, for example. The strict child protection rules call for parents who are beyond reproach. In most Scandinavian countries, spanking is taboo. This is often where immigrant parents run afoul of local authorities. This is not scientific, it's a cultural thing. That, you, that we believe that you should not uh, hit the children in order to learn, while they come from a culture who believes it's different. And, and it's interesting to see on a longitudinal study if there are differences when they grew up. But we can't say that. One 15-year-old girl was immobilized by police just because she wanted to stay with her parents. Such methods in the name of child welfare have been condemned by Norwegian courts. But even so, when foreigners get caught up in the Norwegian system, cultures can and do clash. That's obvious. We have our own definition of what's best for the child. And it's clear and easy to understand for everyone who lives here. But it's a challenge to put it across, and you have to expect cultural conflict. But it's not solely a question of cultures. 
The Norwegian child protection policies are legally questionable as well. Attorneys have occasionally succeeded in returning children to their parents. The Norwegian uh, authorities are doing uh, a lot of things wrong uh, because uh, international law says that they should not take the children out of harm if not it's necessary. And I think a lot of cases it's not necessary. <laughs> the rigid child protection laws once separated Ken Olsen from his mother. Now he's determined to do whatever it takes to get his own child back. He's never had the chance to be a loving, caring father.